Right, hey guys, Andy Quinch here. We're back with Art Stoppers, episode three. Um, we got introduced to Nick's brother. <laughs> Interesting character, uh, definitely. Um, what was that? And then Tao finally admitted he likes L. So, hey, that's moving along. Uh, yeah, no, I look forward to see what they're going to do this one. This one's called Promise. So, yeah, I like, I like the simple titles in Art Stoppers. So, yeah, no, I look forward to see what they'll do with this one. I think, like, that's it. That's the episode is very... I think it's a strong start to season two so far, so I'm looking forward to see how they're going to handle the rest of it. But guys, hope you enjoyed the reaction. Leave a like, subscribe, button. Play for the next one. Let's do this. Three, two, one, play. It's a classic date location. Isn't that a bit oh. boring, though? So, a theme park. But you hate roller coasters. Oh, what if... You I relate to that. I relate to that. Choose a book for each other and I'll give you a little reading date. Isaac, that's your yeah. dream date, not ours. Charlie and me for fighting him. I know you and Charlie are really good mates. <laughs> Good mates. <laughs> I like that. That was funny. Yeah. I get. I, I like how he did. It won't be too harsh on him as well because, like, like he they said, like he said to him, it's like it took him a while to realize how he was a dick. So it's like you got to give them the benefit of the doubt as well. Boys, I need. <laughs> 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 See the door's fucking wide open. <laughs> These guys don't learn. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I remember what it was like telling all my friends. Some took it better than others. Mm -hmm. None of the guys know about me, so um Well you don't owe them that information, okay? Thank you. This is such a fantasy line. Healthy teachers don't exist. <laughs> I feel like she's got too many of them. Realistic. And, uh, it is good. Maybe keep the kissing outside. Hmm. No, oh, young love. <laughs> what about your history coursework? I haven't helped you with that at all. It's fine. It's done. Charlie, you need it the most. James, isn't it your last <laughs> Talk about when you don't take your own advice. <laughs> Motivating him to work. Bring your own drinks, yeah? Bring your own drinks. <laughs> and uh, his, his act will never get old. <laughs> I could come out at the party to some of the rugby guys, so if it goes badly, we could just... Leave. Okay, everyone, can we all quieten down a little bit, please? Everyone. Nope. Quiet! Wow, he does have a voice that just booms. Okay, it's uh, impressive. Mr. Farouk. Uh, welcome, everyone. He's mastered the uh, echo of that assembly, jeez. My go, my go rider did fucking D20 there. So, we'll now. <laughs> What the hell? Uh, the fact he's doing it in front of everyone is impressive. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, for you for finishing your GCSEs. What's happening right oh, now? Oh, growing up. Growing up. Glow up? That's it. Oh, I like you romantically. <laughs> I was wondering if you wanted to go on a date tonight. <laughs> Fair play to the guy. You. I love that they did not mess about, did they? Jesus. I, I will always give this show. It's got amazing pacing. I love the shows would have dragged that out until the end of the season. Hi. Hi. Two tickets for Tao Su? What are we seeing? I'm never a big fan of cinema first dates, but I guess they know each other, so it's actually all right. I guess if you know the person, it's a lot That's better, actually. Movie. I know. Oh, what comfy cinema. Jesus. That's such an unnecessary Big Mac lot of popcorn. Jesus Christ. Mine'd already be gone. Mm -hmm. 
You look really nice, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, the change of from best friends yeah. to relationship. Well, it just looks better like this, doesn't it? But you always liked it long. I hope you didn't cut it for me. <laughs> it does look way better. See, okay. I let it off because the mate, so we've been mates for said, but it's just that cinema's just so, you up so awkward really for first dates. She can't really talk. Okay. Or you do something beforehand and then go to cinema at least. Text you later. Us being out with a couple in Paris, holding hands in the Louvre, <laughs> kissing in front of the Mona Lisa. Yeah. God, I hope trouble never hits this paradise. You know what I'm saying? Don't want neither young royals or Peter. <laughs> Just be sad. The lady in that, that awkward best friend to date in things so far. <laughs> Just gonna put my hand back. Closing off. Never, never do cinema. <laughs> My mum should be here in like five minutes. Still want to go to this party? Yeah, sure. Thanks for asking me out on a date. Um, thanks for saying yes. <laughs> Pain. I'm actually kind of glad it didn't just go perfectly. I actually like the fact that it, it went, it, it was, it had that awkwardness to it. I just think that was well done. It'd be so much easier to just have like, oh look how the perfect first date. Because it is, it's hard to go from friends to a relationship. Now best friends, I don't know what that's like. I didn't know you invited them. Yeah. They're my friends. What? I don't understand what I did wrong tonight. It's like you were trying to be a completely different person. You're the one who's completely different. You've gone off with your new friends and have forgotten I exist completely. You're the one who said uh... we always put our friendship first. You promised. Well, I guess romance does ruin friendship. That would have been dramatic there. Uh, didn't need to do that, Tao. Hopefully you can overcome his sort of je jealousy trait. Characters got our floor though, otherwise we'd never have no character development, would we? Be very boring show that way. Anxiety got to him there, Jesus. Yeah. 
guess it's a mix. Is that him thinking, maybe? Oh, you're a Panic attack. Is he okay? Oh, he'll be fine. Just a bit of sunstroke, probably. I did tell him to put a hat on when he took Nanny out today. <laughs> Do you mind if I stay for a bit? Just to make sure he's okay. Of course, darling. Not past your curfew, though. I don't want to get you in trouble with your parents. Nick's so lucky to have you, Charlie. I love when they do the comic stuff. The way of showing all the all the people like saying stuff. I was so well done. <laughs> you sure you're okay with it? Yeah. Just obviously, I want you to come out when and how you want to. And if that takes a long time, that's completely okay. But... I guess... Part of me just wants everyone to know you're my boyfriend. Conversation, handle it well. So, hopefully, Charlie doesn't overthink it. Yeah, no, uh, I think a great, a great third episode. I think uh, I'm glad Tao and Els didn't just like hit it off. Uh, I can speak from experience with the whole like moving, going from a friend to a relationship. It doesn't always work because it doesn't always need you guaranteed to have chemistry. And I always say there is a point where it makes it very hard to go back to just being mates. And it always depends on how grown up the two people are. I think like once you've had sex and then like maybe a bit further on and then things don't really go well, it's harder to go back. Whereas if you decide before sex and then um, or anything intimate and you realize it's not working, you can go back to friends quite easily. Um, from my experience anyway, where I feel like if you push past that point, you know, you're trying to force the chemistry that might not be there. It can't, might not always work. So I think like, I think they handled it pretty well. Like it doesn't always translate, best friends don't translate to relationship straight away. Obviously I think this is more, there was just uh, overthinking it and I think it can work because they do have chemistry. We've seen it when the best mate. So it is there. It's just, there's, you've got Tao's underlying jealousy thing he needs to solve. And then I was thinking he's changed and she. And Elle has become more independent as the show has gone on. And then obviously that best friend thing, um, the promise to always put their friendship first, which will get difficult when you're in a relationship to put your friendship first over your relationship. So it's like, yeah, I'm curious to see how they're going to actually handle that story. I could go quite a few ways with it. Um, and I'm quite glad they didn't just go with, oh, they instantly was perfect. Like the Nick and Charlie situation. And how that, how it just grew into like a really great relationship from the start. Whereas I like this one. They're going to need put work for this to work. They need to put a work, bit of work in and to probably... Develop so like I like how they've handled it. I think they did a good job. Um, I really did show that like like Nick's anxiety and overthinking. Um, I think that was done really really well. Um, sort of that you really with that the way you're showing all the whatever words you felt you could feel the pressure you felt in that moment. And I'm glad Charlie talked him down and yeah told him to delay. Even though you know Charlie wants to say oh he's going out with someone as great as Nick because like Charlie really wants because he wants to hype for Nick because he is going out with someone great. It's just like yeah he needs to. Thinking Nick in that situation in which he has, which is good. Um, and then we have a bit more with the I love you thing with Dancy and so that situation. So yeah, I'm gonna set up and then Isaac got a bit of uh, got a bit of love in there as well. Looked at someone kissing Nick think he wants to make the move because I think he reads a lot of romance books, don't he? So he wants to have those romance moments as well. Overall fantastic episode. Cold pop. So 